And that's the reason the church took 300 years to establish the doctrine of Trinity in the year 325, actually in the year 380, because uh, the Council of Constantinople is where they actually established this doctrine of the Trinity. Because in the first council, in the Council of Nicaea, they didn't even speak much about the Holy Spirit. So in the Council of Nicaea, they were, they were discussing whether Jesus is actually in union with God or is he subordinate to God. Because you had the Aryans and the Athenians arguing with each, uh, each, with each other. The Aryans were saying Jesus is subordinate. Yeah. Athenians were saying no, they were co-equal. Yeah, yeah. So that's where the argument, but late, at that time, they didn't discuss the, the Holy Spirit much. But like I said, everything that you find in these creeds mm -hmm. is actually extra biblical, not from the Bible. Yes. Yeah. Because if the Trinity is the core doctrine of Christianity, why would Jesus leave it out from the Bible? Would it not be the first thing he would preach instead of never preach it at all? I mean, yeah, but you could also say that you can allude to these things. Like, you know? Why would you allude to something so important? Something ex important should be explicit. You know, what is explicit? It's John 17, 3, <laughs> where, where he declares only the Father is the only true God. That is explicit. But also, Jesus did often speak in things like hyperboles and everything. So, you know, like, everything he says shouldn't necessarily be taken literally. I mean, Luke 14, 26, for instance, that's something which shouldn't be taken literally. Yeah, but even if you take it metaphorically, how does the Father is the only true God? Whether you take it literally or metaphorically, the answer is still the same. The Father is the one who is above him. You know, he, Jesus said very clearly, my, fa my father is greater than I. As I hear, I obey. When Jesus wanted to pray, what did he do? He put his forehead on the ground and he prayed to his father. Yes, it is. Where, does, where, where is the forehead on the ground thing? Uh, that's in the Garden of Gethsemane. You know, just we spoke about this earlier. Yep. Was it you or the other guy? He said, uh, take this cup away from me. Yeah, Remember that? I, I said that, but, but, but where's the part where he put his head to the ground? Is it the same one? The same one. So, which, so, uh, do you know which, which uh, thing? Just look for the cup. Just Google. It'll be, uh, it'll be take, take this. Yeah. I think it's Matthew. Yeah, it'll be, yeah, Might yeah, be Matthew, yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to have a look at because you were saying that Satan is known as the chaos. Yeah, that's, that's not important. You can look it up later. But what I'm no, no, wanting no, to. No, no, I looked it up now. Mm. Satan is called s s Satanus. He's not called chaos. God of the world. No, but look, it says right here, Satan, Satan. I'm not asking you to Satan. interpret the term Satan. No, no but you, uh, you, you, mis you misunderstood my point. When you, the passage you read in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, 4, yeah, it says, even though the word Satan is not there, it's talking about the Satan. It says he is the theos of the world. He is the, the God, God of the world. The of the world. Exactly. Yes, so I'm not talking about the term Satan being used as theos, okay. but the term God being used as theos, yeah. and here the theos is the Satan. Yeah. By the way, the Satan is cursed in our book. Is in your book is the God of the world. <laughs> yeah, of the world. Yeah, Allah says, Rabbus Samawati wal Ard, he's the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. How can you put the Satan in charge of the world? Of the world, yeah. Yeah, because Jesus says, this kingdom is not, my, my kingdom is not of this world. Hey Amen. I believe in the dude that died and rose again three days later. But anyway. Um... Yeah, but that dude told you that his God is uh, the Father. <laughs> sure. So worship his Father instead of. The guy who died, because God doesn't die. I mean, but, but we also... Oh yeah, he's a present for you? No, thank you. I don't want to take it. I thought you were an open-minded person. Uh, I don't really like reading books. Yeah. Really? Oh, you... Are you like Gen, Gen X or something who, re who only watches... <laughs> sorry, Gen Z, who watches only videos I mean, for your information? I would, I would. And Google when you need it? Sure, man, yeah. yeah. What's wrong with books? The Bible is a book. Yeah, I mean, I don't really like... Thou God tells you to read your book. You're going to what? Go to uh, Inspiring Philosophy? <laughs> I mean, dude, I do like, I mean, I do read, read like the Bible, yeah. You know, but anyway, I, I do we can't read, force you if you want to take it as a free gift, I do, but we can't I force you. I like, read them all, though, but yeah, that's yeah. very true. There was something which you did bring up, though, um, which I kind of forgot about. Uh, we were talking about Satan, but then you brought up something before. I yeah, I wanted to show you why. Yeah, earlier when I asked you about, I think we, we kind of went on a tangent when I asked you if God is independent. Then why would he need a son? That's something which we need to ask, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't have an answer for the question. Man. Have you thought about it? Uh, probably not. Wait, hang well, on. Uh, if now is the time. Why does he need a son? Yeah. I don't know, man. 
What would you say? Would an, would an independent that, God need would, anything or anyone? I would anyone? say that it's not important enough for me to need to know the answer. No, but the reason I'm asking you this question is because if God is independent, He needs nobody. You know, to me, someone who is a sovereign God, yeah. then He doesn't need anyone, let alone a son or, or a daughter. Because these come from... Which is your from interpretation of no, no, what it comes... Must be. If you look at all the mythological uh, religions out there, like Greek or Hinduism, their gods have children. Have children. children, yeah. So not only son, they might have a daughter, they might have multiple children, you know. And I believe Christianity has been inspired by Greek mythology. And that's the reason you have, you know, you have the Zeus and you have Hercules the sun yeah, I mean, and so on. Those have been debunked by now. Yeah. So is Christianity. <laughs> Honestly, if you look, if throughout the Bible you don't see anyone worshipping a triune God, then should you not at least consider that this book, if it's not talking about the Trinity, why would I worship a Trinity? You're going based on emotion then, you see what I mean? Not based on the Bible. Yeah, it is because you or your friends or your parents or your community worships, everyone around you worships a triune God, so I have to. You know, at least I took the time to read the Bible. Okay? And then come to the conclusion that it cannot be from God. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not just going to say, oh, the Bible is rubbish. Okay, because that would be emotional. Okay. I, I would study it and then come to the conclusion. Okay. And I hope you would do the same with the Quran. Okay, you know? Right. But unfortunately, you don't want to. So that's up to you. Sure. Let, me put it, let me ask you this question. It's a hypothetical question. Let's say one day you die, which is not hypothetical, which is going to be a fact. Whether you believe it or God or not, we're all going to die one day, aren't we? Sure. So one day you die and you realize that Christianity was false. Okay. Then how would you, how would you feel? Uh, I would say... Because you put all your eggs in one basket and you put, you have taken a huge risk by doing that. Yeah, well, I mean, which is not, which is not the logical, uh, rational thing to do because if you were investing your money as well, you know, don't put everything in one investment. That is not a good economic uh, strategy. Yeah, well, I would probably say that, like, as long as I knew that I tried my best... How do you know you tried your best? You didn't even try the Quran. <laughs> I mean, so it's not the best thing. As long as I try my best... You didn't try your best, not, but... No, but I mean, the thing is, is that the, I still believe that the Bible is true, man, because of the things that I know, or the things... Did you understand the question I asked you? What I've been taught. Did you understand the question I asked you? Maybe I did not. Okay, let me repeat it again. You are taking a massive risk by putting all your eggs in one basket because you're, you're putting all your, you're risking everything just on Christianity itself. Okay. What if Christianity was wrong? And on the day of judgment, when you were resurrected, you realized that what I've wasted all my life on a wrong religion, worshiping a God who was triune, who doesn't really exist, but it was a, something that the church, you know, taught you. I've got a, I've, I've got a bit of a, a different question for you. Yeah, after you answer this question. Okay, sorry, sorry, could you summarize the question? So if you died and you realize that Christianity is wrong, then what would you say then? I would say at least I tried with the knowledge that I have, man. You didn't actually. <laughs> because if you did try, then you would look at other monotheistic religions and then you would conclude. So, okay. I, I would but you, you did why, not do that. I will tell you why Christianity becomes above others because of Jesus having died and resurrected three days later and evidence we have for that. Have we already discussed that? Yeah, but I mean, you don't need to kill an innocent person for your salvation. So that's taken, that's, that's taken from a humanistic perspective. That's from, that's, that, is, that is actually in the Bible, if you read the Bible. You know the reason you, you failed on every account about the teachings of the Bible is because again you put all your faith in this inspires, inspiring philosophy guy. You he never read, you never made the effort. The exactly, you never made but the effort to I read have, the Bible. I, but I have, dude. I've you haven't. I, I have. Everything I've, that I I've told you, through, it looks like you were surprised. I've gone through Matthew, Mark, and Luke. But, but what about the Old Testament? But this, have you read the Old Testament? Not in the Old Testament. Ezekiel 18, 20, you know what it says? I do not know. It says the Father is not accountable for the sins of the Son, okay. and the Son is not accountable for the sin so, of the I mean, Father. So Let me finish it, okay, mate, sorry, come on. Sorry, sorry. Yeah? When he says the Father is not accountable for the sins of the Son, and the Son is not accountable for the sins of the Father, but everyone will be accountable for That's their own Ezekiel? sins. Ezekiel? Ezekiel 1820. Okay. So it's not my understanding, it's from your Bible actually. Okay? okay? You accuse that it was from a humanistic understanding. Why is God actually, Sorry, why is God telling you about this? 
most logical, rational explanation that everyone is accountable for their own sins. 18. 18, 20 onwards. Ezekiel 18, 20. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so there's also this kind of, there's this other perspective which we haven't really talked about yet, which is, um, which is the idea that my mind and my memory and my understanding and facts and everything, even though I don't remember everything, the things that I have seen is, you know, I can sort of try my best, man, but I mean... You're not trying your best. If you did try your best, Matthew, with all due respect, if you did try your best, a person who tries their best is someone who actually explores other scriptures, other religions, especially especially monotheistic religions, and then makes a decision, makes comes to the conclusion as which is true. So certainly you haven't tried your best. I hear what you're saying, but I feel like I've tried my best for Christianity. Exactly, you put all your eggs in one basket. That is a huge risk. And I asked you, what if Christianity was false? Then you have no, then you have no one to blame but yourself. And my, and myself would be that I would, that I would have tried you know, my best for... You know, it will be too late by then. But, but I mean, even, you know, me in my own understanding of the Bible, like, I mean, as you have kind of been a witness of, I don't even know enough about the Bible. So, I mean, I feel like I need to know the Bible more to be able to understand it better, right? You know, many of the questions so, I asked you were actually, Sorry. were logical questions. Like, does God have a God? A this kind of, of questions a, are logical. And every time, if you were sincere, you would realize human, that the, the, the Christianity wouldn't make sense. I mean, a lot of your questions are based on humanistic perspectives and logic from what we can understand from our perspective. If I'm a human, I can only think human, as a human. Correct. So and don't expect so, me to think like an angel so or like anybody why, else. And then, and then so that's why a part of a bunch of my answers to say that, you know, I, I should put something onto God, which is, I don't know, my own interpretation. I don't know, man, it could be a little bit foolish to say that, you know, God... You know, many of the God things you did were actually like putting your interpretation. Many well, of the I things, mean, yeah. many of the responses you gave me were your own interpretations. Well, okay, so from my, from my, from my human understanding, yes. You have but, to, you have no choice. You see, You're a human. But what do you, you know, when I offered you the Quran and you rejected it, to me that shows that you haven't tried your best. For, I feel like I'm trying my best for Christianity though. Because That's what I'm saying, this is actually, not called it the best. That is one of my oh, questions for you. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen sort of like kind of supernatural miracles in, in, in like person? Have you seen any miraculous healings or any div divination on earth is what I'm asking you. Have Look, you ever seen if, any of these if I see, if I, if I put my faith in miracles, yeah. then Jesus wouldn't have said when he was asked about miracles. Do you remember what was his response? Tell me, man. Enlighten me. He said uh, miracles are for people, I, I don't know the exact word he used, but basically for the people who, are, who don't have faith in God. Mm. This is my paraphrasing it. Yeah? And he, and, and, he's, and, and, and he said the only miracle you'll be given is the miracle of Jonah. Yeah, I know the one you're talking about because you see the Pharisees they come up and exactly, yeah. they challenge them. And then because so he, oh yeah, he said, he said, to, yeah. he said the ones who are, um, sorry, the ones of adulterous nation or something, they ask for miracles. But I might be, you know, mixing maybe another word. Yeah. But generally, that's what you're saying. People of lo low faith or people don't have faith in God, they will ask for miracles. So you see, as a Muslim, for us the miracle is the Quran. Sure. And this miracle is not something which is time bound, like all the previous miracles of all the prophets, which were time bound. Because only those people would see those miracles, yeah? The fact that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. You know, we as Muslims believe that. Because we believe that Jesus was given the power to raise people from the dead, to cure the blind, to cure the lepers. He, he could actually give life to even a clear bird. Yeah, so we have these miracles in the Quran itself. However, do we worship him because of the miracles? No. We worship the one who gave him the miracles. As it says in the book of Acts, that Jesus, a man accredited by God. Yeah, remember the man accredited by God who does wonders and miracles. Yes, by Jesus, by him. Sorry, through, what were you quoting? Sorry. Uh, Acts 2.22. Okay, yeah. Anyway, yeah, by God through him. So G God himself is saying that the miracles were given to Jesus by God, which he conducts through the medium of Jesus. Okay, sorry. Uh, Acts 2.22. Next to twenty two. Yeah. I, I, I just want to go back to your Ezekiel thing you said. Yeah, Ezekiel eighteen twenty. The, the person who sins is the one who will die. The child will not be punished for the parent's sins, and the parent will not be punished for the child's sins. Righteous people will be rewarded for their own behavior, 
Uh, so for their own righteous behavior and the wicked will be punished for their own wickedness. Yeah, I mean, that definitely sort of sounds more... Does that make sense? Does that make more sense than killing an innocent man for your sins? Which one makes more sense? The fact that someone, a, yeah, someone who sins is the one accountable for the sin rather than somebody who does not sin. Say that again? Everyone who sins is accountable for the sin. Yep. You cannot then, you know, transfer your sins onto an innocent man. That's the thing, but that's how it happened, baby. Uh, so you see well, baby, it happened in Ezekiel 1820 based on God. So I'm right, not you. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you said the other one was uh, X22. Sorry, X222. Uh, people of Israel, listen, God publicly endorsed Jesus the Nazarene by doing uh, powerful miracles, wonders and signs through him, as you know well. Uh, but God, God knew what would happen and his prearranged plan was carried out when Jesus was betrayed with the help of the lawless Gentiles, you know him to a cross and kill him. So what do you say? A man accredited by God. He's not a God accredited by God, a man accredited by God. Sorry, man. See this, see, this is one reason why I struggle with reading, man, is I usually forget, like, after I read things. You're not, uh, uh, you, don't, you don't have any dyslexia or anything? Dude, I've got a bunch of disabilities, man. So oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, man. So oh, that yeah, explains it. I'm a, I'm a combination deal. Um, uh, you still refuse the Quran. You should have told me that earlier. <laughs> why? Okay. It makes difference, isn't it? Because if you had a disability mm -hmm. and you find difficulty in reading, yeah. Then yes, it makes sense why you would watch videos rather than <laughs> read books. Yeah. But even then, you know, there's still ways around because if you look at maybe videos of explanation of Islam, okay. yeah. So you still don't have excuse if you can't read. I understand. What you're as long as you can, I'm just like as, as long as you can take knowledge in different like forms. Sorry. X two twenty two. Yeah, sure, sure, brother. Jazakallah khair. Thank you very much. Yeah, just open it and okay, put it in there. Thank you. He doesn't want to take. But That's fine. We can't force him. Yes. Sorry? Yeah. Yeah. Can you my case, yeah. Okay. Were you in the video? Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll have to charge you for that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Maybe, maybe lunch and dinner. <laughs> yeah, just joking. Oh, yeah, I mean. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, which, which, which one are you reading? Acts 2.24? Uh, yeah, so, this is, so this is a little, a little bit further down. This is Acts uh, 2.24. Yeah. Um, but God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life, uh, for death could not keep him in its grips. Um, what are you trying to say? I don't know, man. Uh, apparently it was a question which I was supposed to Who ask. raised him back from the dead? God. God. Exactly. Now, does God die? God well, it says God. that God released him from death. Yeah, does, so God, God, does God die? God does not die. So who died on the cross? Well, well, stay. well actually, bro, can, actually, he can answer himself. Actually, 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 God left Jesus at that point. Because, because remember, wow, God because, left him. Because, because God abandoned Jesus. Because, because his own son. My father, my father, why have you forsaken me? Not my father, my says. God, my God. He's, Elahi, Elahi. He said, my God. Kama. You mean El Eli, Eli Sabakhtani? Do you mean? Yes. He says, uh, Lama Sabakhtani. Ilahi, Ilahi, Lama Sabakhtani. My, my God, my God, why did you why abandon have, me? Why, yeah. Why have, why have so, number one, he's addressing his God. Right. Yeah? Does God have a God? No. Good, so Jesus cannot be God then. Because Jesus did have a God. You, Jesus, uh, the Bible says that Jesus is a God, but he's not the God. Say, the there's no a God and no, there the God. Is, there is, yeah. it's called God of the system. This is yeah, we already discussed. Money, money could be a God. Bro, so bro, we discussed that already. Please, it's not the true God. It's not the true God. Please stop interrupting. Right. So he can answer himself. So, but, Tony, sorry, I'm just gonna make sure to look this up as well when, yeah. I, get, when I get back. Yeah. So what I'm saying is number I one. Appreciate you giving me these resources. No, that's fine. Number one, God doesn't have a God. Number two, God does not die. Okay. So if I were to ask you who died on the cross, okay, I'm not asking. I'm not asking what died on the cross. Who died on the cross? Sorry, I'm laughing at these guys. <laughs> They're really funny over there. Oh, you're, you're hearing them? Yeah, yeah. You got, you got Sorry, sharp hearing. My mind's just, that's, yeah. That's good, that's yeah. good. Um, but, but there was something else which you brought up as well. So there was the, there was the, the thing in Acts, and there was, there was another verse you brought up, I think, before that. Um, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, we were talking about miracles. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then so, yeah, so you were Miracles saying, doesn't make someone God, because, you know, Moses did miracles. You know, lots he of other prophets did miracles. Yeah. But, however, however, the miracles were, were, were done through God. God yeah, always. Always with the permission of God. Every miracle that the prophets did, it was with the permission of God. So that means that, so I mean, okay.